We've come a long way since the Super Bowl premiere, and The Mass Singer Season 3 has finally narrowed things down to its top five contestants. That's right, we're here to recap the Season 3 semifinals of The Mass Singer, including performances, clues, and of course, our best guesses for who remains masked at the end of the night. And while I've got you, whether it's for the first time, but especially if it's not your first time, please go hit subscribe. My guesses are world-renowned at this point, or at least that's what my analytics guy tells me. <coughs> Hi, Mom. <clears throat> so you don't want to miss any of it. I don't know what made me happier this episode, Nick Cannon finally foregoing his reveal at the beginning of the show, uh, like we don't know it's him every time, or the fact that comedian Jeff Dye was this week's guest panelist. We love our Jeffs here at Cinema Blend. They're <laughs> very important to us. He found someone dumber than this guy right here. <laughs> Woo, finally! Up first to perform this week was The Frog with Bust a Move by Young MC, followed by Kitty with Back to Black by Amy Winehouse, Rhino with You've Lost That Love and Feeling by The Righteous Brothers, Night Angel's Last Dance by Donna Summer, and lastly, Turtles Fix You by Coldplay. While everyone busted their moves and regained their love and feelings this week, it was Kitty who was sent back to pack at the end of the night. So here's how the clues added up that made her reveal obvious to anyone who was paying attention, aka <clears throat> not the judges. No offense, guys. Give me a job one day, please. In her clue package this week, she said, My creativity comes from all across the globe. See, I first started traveling when I was very young, and while I had incredible experiences, I also felt like I couldn't be myself. Throughout the package, we see her travel through destinations like St. Petersburg, Japan, the Vatican, and more. She continued, While my career may be up in the air, here I am over the rainbow. After her performance, the Men in Black brought out a package of hers to show the audience, as they did with every contestant tonight. In her package was a bow and arrow. Oh, Jennifer Lawrence. To which she said, aim your sights and it should help you target who I am. She works at Target. Uh, no to both of those. The judges' final guesses this week were definitely all over the place like those, though, including Ashley Tisdale, Leah Michelle, Anna Kendrick. One of those uh, Olsen twins. Oh. Or Vanessa Hudgens. Thankfully, you guys out there on YouTube have so much more sense than the judges, and even me at first. You should be believing what I say, and I won't try to change your mind, Mr. NBA, because the kitty was unsurprisingly revealed to be Jackie Ivanko. I also completely forgot that Nick used to host America's Got Talent, which Jackie almost won while he was a host, so that's hilarious. Here's how the clues added up. Jackie has traveled around the world for work and pleasure, including St. Petersburg, Japan, and Vatican. She also performed part of Somewhere Over the Rainbow on Oprah's Farewell Special broadcast in 2011, and at the Songwriters Hall of Fame 2014 awards dinner. And here's a little something you can't find on her Wikipedia page. Jackie is actually a very talented archer, hence the bow and arrow. I might not have had you at the beginning, Jackie, but I nailed it at the end, and that's what matters here. On to our remaining contestants. First up, the frog. In his clue package this week, he left a voicemail for his little frog. Wouldn't it be a tadpole? He said, I'm calling you because throughout this show, you've been on my mind. Every move, every groove, every hippity hop, I think of you. Before you came into my life, I struggled to find my footing. We then see some French bread on the ground. He continued, I did everything so fast, the balance of my life was off. Then you spring around, sparked a plug in me, gave me purpose to put my feet on the ground. The camera then shows a falcon figure behind him. After his performance, the men in black revealed that he had a model airplane in his mail, to which he said, I challenge you to find out what this plane is all about. The judges are guessing Anthony Mackie, Bow Wow, Sir Mix-a-Lot, and Derek Huff. Derek Huff's a white guy. Don't worry, Jeff, our YouTubers are on it. Well, Benjamin is on it, because the frog is definitely not Little Romeo, but Bow Wow. He has a daughter named Shy, a song named Long Bread, is a huge Atlanta Falcons fan, and went viral back in 2017 for posting a photo of himself in a private jet. Except he wasn't in a private jet. That prompted people to post their own fake pics with the hashtag Bow Wow Challenge. Big yikes, dude. But hey, you're in the top four of The Masked Singer now. That'll show them. Right. Also in our top four this week is Rhino, who hinted this episode, last week I gave my best performance yet in this competition, and I think there's a big reason for my success with that song. I was thinking about my wife the entire time. Before she came along, I had some major struggles, personal and professional. We then see a sign that reads, hill ahead, 15 miles per hour, $30 fine for high speed. He continued, I didn't think I'd get married, let alone have youngsters. We then see this cute little pic of three elephants, ballet slippers, and a turkey hand drawing. After his performance, the men in black revealed his package to contain this navy hat. Well, Ken liked that clue a lot, guessing. Yeah! 
Jag was the name of the show. Who is this? Um, I forgot, I forgot his name. He eventually got there with David James Elliott, while Nicole guessed Jason Aldean, and Jeff guessed Trace Atkins. Well, this Jeff is gonna beg to differ. As are my peeps on our last YouTube video, I've said it before and I'll keep saying it till he gets revealed, the rhino is Barry Zito. Listen, Ken, you were actually surprisingly close with that hat guess, but it is actually a reference to Zito's portrayal of a Navy officer in a 2003 episode of... Jeff! <laughs> yes, Jack. He also appeared, tights and all, in the Oakland Ballet's production of The Nutcracker a while back. Zito has his own Red Turkey baseball card, played 15 seasons in Major League Baseball, has recorded wins against all 30 MLB teams, and his last game was on September 30th of 2015. Finally, Barry has two kids with his wife Amber, all three of which were represented in that cute little elephant pic. Yep, uh, <laughs> knocked that one out of the <clears throat> safari. Second to last this week is the Night Angel, and she said, Last week I hit a high point. Their comments made me reflect on how far I've come since my musical journey started when I was just four years old. We see lipsticks on the piano she's playing and a photo of Columbia. She continued, My auntie noticed me singing my favorite song into a hairbrush, Donna Summer's Last Dance. Right there, she took me under her wing and taught me all about rhythm and tone. We then see some letters that read, My hero, love you, and say, baby, I love you. The last clue in the package was a red light bulb. After her performance, the men in black pulled a bunch of ski gear out of the Night Angel's package. The judges are guessing Tion Watkins, Tamika Cottle, and Alicia Keys. And Dean here on YouTube thinks she could be Beyonce, but we know better, y'all. The Night Angel is, of course, Candy Burris. The ski gear was a reference to her Bravo slash Real Housewives special, Candy Ski Trip. She also has a makeup line, Candy Coated Cosmetics, and the final studio album of her former girl group, Escape, was called Traces of My Lipstick. She also released her first solo album at Columbia Records. The Say Baby I Love You Destiny's Child reference was probably a hint at the work she's done on writing several of their songs, in addition to several songs she's written for TLC, hence the Red Light, which was a reference to their song Red Light Special. God, that's a stretch. Last but certainly not least this week, The Turtle. First of all, I'm sorry to all you yelling at me about the Kingdom Hearts and Chipmunks clues last week. I'm not out here walking around with every fact about Jesse McCartney just just sitting in my head. So thank you to the people who nicely pointed them out, like Richard here. To the rest of you, please just love me and let me do my thing, which is to tell you all the clues I happened to notice this week. He said, let me tell you, being the turtle makes me feel like a superhero. The camera then pans to a poster that reads, wanted reward $1,999. He continued, and with this newfound strength comes a great sense of duty. Cue a turtly bat signal, a green mop, a wedding cake topper, and a briefcase with poker chips coming out. Finally, the Men in Black opened his post-performance package this week and revealed this nasty-looking zombie. Turtle said, You may be dead wrong about who I am, but this clue should send you in the right direction. Well, the judges are guessing Norman Reedus, stupid, Howie D, and Jesse McCartney. And just like Nicole came around to my guess, so did the guys out there on YouTube. The Turtle is without a doubt Jesse McCartney. All of the superhero hints were references to his time as Robin and Nightwing on Young Justice. And the zombie was a hint at Jesse's appearance in The Walking Dead. He got engaged back in September of 2019, hence the wedding topper. Jesse has a fragrance called Wanted, and really kicked off his music career back in 1999 when he joined the boy band Dream Street. Oh, I remember Dream Street. Baby down on Dream Street. The heartthrob was also well known for his mop top haircut during his beautiful soul days. And finally, the poker chips were definitely a reference to his time voicing Theodore on Alvin and the Chipmunks. Uh, there guys, I got that one, and I hope to God I didn't miss Kingdom Hearts clues. But if I did, nicely tell me about it in the comments, because I want to hear what you have to say. What did I miss? You might just be featured on our next video for the Mass Singer semifinals. Now that only four contestants are left, who do you think is going to win it all? Let me know. Make sure to hit like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. You know the drill. You don't want to miss any more of our Masked Singer mayhem here at Cinema Blend.